one final thing occurs to me, Chet, that might be of interest since of your tie-in with Dick Tracy. And so, what is your thought on this all this discussion about guns and gun control and handling guns? Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Well, yes, I have very definite thoughts. Um, uh, people, uh, you never hear anybody say. The crook that killed a man and a woman in a holdup. They did. They in, they engaged in capital punishment. They took it in their own hands to engage in capital punishment. Well, if the poor little man, honest little figure, that has his guns taken away, guns that he is legally holding and in possession of, what defense does he have? Because they do capital punishment right on the spur of the moment. When they come in and they got a gun pointed at you, you're unless you're an awfully good boy at behaving, uh, you're dead right there. And uh, I think that. Uh, but and here's another thing. How, how was it that during prohibition, when liquor was a national uh, no-no, every bootlegger had booze. Uh, the uh, speakeasies were uh, going all big. You can't keep things away from crooks. A crook will will have a, a contact that can make him a gun, or he'll steal a gun, or he'll have some source where he can get a gun. A crook, a crook doesn't care what the hell the law is. He says, "I want a gun. I'm going out and do some robbing." So. Uh, the fact that uh, you can keep the gun, you can keep the gun away from crooks is just laughable. Yeah. It's it's uh, that kind of thinking is done by novices. Yeah. 